This video was made possible by the Content Creator Program. An MCOC champion is temporarily granted to select accounts for the purpose of allowing the community a first look at a new champion coming to the contest. All granted champions are removed from accounts before they are officially released to the community. Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So, we're going to be taking a look at this guy here, Air Walker. Uh, he is new to the contest, and I've been granted him temporarily to my account in order to play around with him. So, as you can see up there, we're on the content creator beta. And I will go over his attributes, his synergies, his abilities, and then I will rank him up, level him up to three, SIG 200, that's what we used to get uh, these champions at, and that's where a lot of people will, you know, get him to pretty easily. And then I will rank him up to rank five, SIG 200, and we'll take a look at him at that point. Then I'll go over to the six star and take the six star up to rank three just to see how he looks at that level. All right, so let's get started. First, let's look at his uh, details here. And uh, as you can see, I did not touch uh, his levels. I haven't put any ISO into him. Uh, he's a control champion, which is interesting uh, for the flow mechanic, uh, the attack tactic will allow him to fire off heavy attacks and do some power control in Alliance War. Uh, he has the villain tag, so he will be blade fodder if you have the uh, Ghost Rider synergy. Uh, flying, very interesting. I liked it. Um, when I looked at his animations, I noticed that he was walking on air. Uh, he's a large champion, and he's also metal, so he'll be food for Magneto. All right, so let's take a look here. All right, so critical rating looks okay. Uh, not too bad. Uh, the armor rating, now, I don't remember seeing this. I'm not saying that there's not one that, that had this, but I don't remember seeing a negative armor rating uh, before. I probably just haven't noticed it. Uh, but he has things that make up for that armor rating. So um, he's also got you know, low block proficiency, but again, he's got mechanics that make up for it. So we'll take a look at that, but let's take a look at his synergies here. Now, this first synergy is interesting. Uh, the first fight Air, Worker, uh, Air Walker uh, participates in grants him an indefinite precision buff. So he's going to be uh, critting more often because of this. And that's with uh, Silver Surfer and Terax. Now, of the two, I actually like Silver Surfer. Um, he's pretty cool, and I would not mind bringing him on the team uh, for a synergy because he's not just a prestige champion. He's actually pretty decent. Uh, a lot of people sleep on him, uh, but I have better options, so it's not like I'm going to take him into a lot of content. Uh, so here's the next one with Nova. Now, Nova, I don't really like Nova, but he's a good defender. So this one, whenever a dark tie debuff is placed on the opponent a 30 percent chance to place an additional one so this can increase air walker's damage he does quite a bit of damage with those dark tie debuffs okay so whether you want to bring him around uh this uh nova around with you for the 30 percent chance to increase your damage that's up to you all right this next one uh Heavy charging increases ability power rate by an additional 150%. So we'll see that a little bit later. Uh, when he charges his heavy, he gains power. And this is going to increase the amount that he gains. That could actually be pretty useful. Now, the three that he has this synergy with are not three that you would normally be taking along with you on your team. Green Goblin has a very vicious special two, but... Nobody really uses him. Uh, Phoenix is actually pretty good, but there's a lot better. And Ebony Maw, let's not mention Ebony Maw. He has smooth animations. Yeah. So, last one with the Fantastic Four, they all increase his crit rate. All right. So now let's take a look at his abilities. So this one is Awaken, 
And that's where he gets that uh, Dark Tide debuff on an opponent every 20 seconds. So it's a steady application of this debuff every 20 seconds in the fight. Now, we'll look at what it looks like, uh, SIG 200, and see how much that goes up, or down, rather, because uh, it's most likely going to decrease, um, and I don't know how much it's going to decrease. Uh, offensive combat power rate is decreased by 40%. Remember what we said earlier. He gets a uh, power in other ways. Okay, so now, here's why he had those stats. Power Cosmic. Persistent buff, max of three. Look at what it does, and that will tell you why he had the reduction that you saw. Gain 3.5% of a bar of power every one second. You can max these out three times. You can stack them three times, okay? Uh, look at the armor rating he gains. Again, three times you can stack this. Attack rating, all right? He starts the quest with one Power Cosmic buff, which persists between fights. So automatically, right off the bat, without doing anything, he's going to have that um, extra armor rating. Uh, he's going to have that extra attack rating. Okay? It persists uh, between fights. He gains one of them when he wins a fight. So after three fights, he will have his max. Okay? Uh, when Airwalker has no Power Cosmic buffs, he will gain one after a 7.5 second cooldown. So when you're fighting him, and I fought him with uh, Symbiote Supreme and with Black Widow Clairvoyant because they nullify a lot. Makes him very easy, okay? Uh, so nullify champions, very good counters for him. Uh, his special three can only be used if Airworker has three cosmic buffs or is defending. So what that means is that you have to win three fights in order to fire off your special three. How that's going to work, what that makes him, I don't know. Uh, but we'll play around. We won't be able to uh, do that in Realm of Legends, but we will see his special three. All right. When power is drained, locked, or power burned, inflict three Dark Tide debuffs. So... If you take someone against him like, oh, I don't know, Magic, uh, even Warlock, uh, you'll get a lot more of these Dark Tide debuffs. Now, what do they do? Why don't you want these debuffs on you? Well, here we go. They'll reduce your block proficiency. Okay. Now, remember, you can have a max of 10. So each one reduces your block proficiency during uh, the opponent's special attacks. So even if they block your special, it's still going to hurt them. Uh, and it lasts indefinitely. Ugly. Uh, champions suffering from both Armor Break and Dark Tide take direct damage every 0.5 seconds. This is where a lot of that damage comes from if you fought him and you got wrecked. This damage is equal to 2% of their opponent's base attack per Dark Tide. 10 max stacks. And remember one of the synergies. OK, that has the potential to add in a lot of damage. OK, uh, opponents remove one Dark Tide debuff every time they fill a bar of power or whenever the power cosmic is nullified. That's why champions that can nullify his buff, nullify that uh, power cosmic buff are really, really good against him. They will not have to worry about that Dark Tide debuff. OK, now let's take a look at this Dark Tide passive. And it's cross fight. When the opponent has 10 Dark Tide debuffs, okay, that's you. When he puts them 10 Dark Tide debuffs on you, uh, they are combined into a passive that lasts for the rest of the fight and the next two fights. That's ugly. The Dark Tide passive counts as 10 Dark Tide debuffs for Airwalker's abilities and also gains additional effects based on the opponent's class. And we will talk about that in a little bit where they list out the different effects that that has per class. Now, if you're fighting him with Void, you know you do a lot more damage the more buffs, uh, debuffs they have on them. Uh, I believe that this had something to do, uh, I'm not sure, someone was telling me 
that um, they they may have been fighting with Airwalker. I don't remember, but that actually messed them up because it rolled into a passive. So instead of having 10 debuffs, it may not have been void. Instead of having 10 debuffs, it went down to just one. And whoever they were using, uh, the debuffs actually made a big difference. And going back down to one messed them up. Um, but yeah, it may not have been void though. Uh, if the opponent has a dark tide passive, Airwalker's fourth light hit refreshes two armor break debuffs on them. Okay, now here we were talking about this earlier. Uh, when charging a heavy attack, increase ability power rate by 300%. And heavy charging can be held for an extended duration. We'll play around with it. 75% uh, of any power gained while charging is lost over 0.75 seconds after the charge stops. If Airwalker fills a bar of power, he gains an unblockable buff for one second that is paused during his special attack. So understand what that means. Think of the combo that you can do. You charge your heavy, you gain a bar of power, and you immediately fire off a special attack. Okay? So as soon as you get that, that bar of power, um, first one, I believe it probably works on, on uh, the second one as well. And if you immediately fire it off within a second, it'll be unblockable. That is my understanding from reading that. We'll test that out. If Airwalker, uh, <laughs> Airwalker uh, activates a special attack, he gains a fury buff during that special attack, increasing attack rating uh, by 376. Again, we're seeing that he has mechanics to improve his attack rating. That's why when you looked at it on paper, he had a low attack rating. What was it? A negative. But he has so many things that increase it. All right. So here's the special attacks. Let's move that up a little bit more. Uh, activating a special attack. Armor breaks the opponent. So that means ghost, not a good counter for him. Um, if the last hit isn't blocked, apply one dark tide debuff. To the opponent now that's ugly because if you block it remember what else happens you know your block proficiency goes down okay so that's ugly um an additional one for each buff on airwalker uh the special attack one the last hit has a 50 percent chance to inflict a stun beat debuff for two seconds the chance is increased by 50 percent flat if airwalker is unblockable unblo so remember what we said earlier so you hold your heavy, fill a bar of power, fire it off within a second. It's unblockable. That triggers this. If it's a special one attack, it'll trigger this and he will stun him 100% of the time. That's what that means. So charge up your heavy, get that first bar of power, fire the special one. It's unblockable. And he's stunned for two seconds. We'll, we'll we'll play around with it. Uh, if the opponent has a Dark Tide passive, this attack deals an additional 40% of the damage dealt as a burst of energy damage. So if you have a champion that has a lot of energy resistance, it'll help you uh, if you get hit with the special two. Uh, but that looks like it's going to be nasty. And here's the special three. The one that you cannot do until you have three co uh, power cosmic buffs. So three fights. Airwalker replaces power cosmic with the power of Galactus buff for 20 seconds. Again, an increase in his attack rating. He also regenerates health. He gains 10.5% of a bar of power every one second. Gain a passive unstoppable effect. Every attack has a 100% chance to deal an additional burst of direct damage. The damage is equal to 5% of the damage dealt per Dark Tide on the opponent. This can hurt. Uh, power of Galactus sets Airwalker's power to zero when it ends. Okay? Whether that's worth it or not, we'll see. Um, now one thing about the 100% chance, I used to wonder why would you say 100% chance instead of just saying 
every attack will deal an additional burst of direct damage. That's because of how they handle these things. 100%, it may get reduced by something. A node that they come out with may reduce it to an 80% or a 70% chance. Okay, that's why they do that that way and don't just tell you it's guaranteed. Okay. Now, we were talking about this earlier. This is the difference or the different effects that happen based on your class when you get that Dark Tide uh, passive debuff on you. If you're a tech, it reduces the duration and potency of power drain, lock, and burn effects by 70%. If you're mutant, reduces offensive ability accuracy during special attacks by 33%. If your skill critical rating is reduced, ouch. Uh, if your science non-damaging debuffs have negative 25% ability accuracy, uh, cosmic buff uh, buffs potency is reduced by 50%. So that'll damage pretty much all of them, like Corvus, anybody that relies on their buffs, Corvus, Hyperion, uh, they'll still be good, but they will be reduced in effectiveness. And finally, Mystic, Mystical Energies resist the Dark Tide, so it has no additional effect. So Mystics are fine. Okay, so now I'm going to rank him up to three, Sig 200, and then we're going to come back and take a look at him again. And then we're going to take him into Realm of Legends, see what he looks like at rank three, Sig 200, and then we'll rank him up, uh, max him out, 565, and then uh, do some testing there. All right, so we'll be back in a moment. Okay, we're back, and as you can see, I took him up to uh, SIG level 200, rank three. This is how we used to get the champions. So we'll test him out at this level, and then we'll test him out at his max level, and then we'll test him out as a six star. All right, let's take a look. Whoops, not that one. Let's take a look at his abilities, see what they uh, changed, and so it reduced his, uh, like I thought it would, uh, the time that he was going to inflict uh, Dark Tide debuff every eight seconds now from, what was it, 20, 22, something like that. Uh, so that's significant. Uh, it's going to add that debuff very, very often. So um, I would say that he, I'm trying to think if he needs to be awakened, but it seems like that is a really, really good uh, thing to have. Um, so at this point, this, this is my initial impressions. Um, you want him awakened and you want to max his SIG out. That would be my initial thoughts. Okay. And, uh, let's see, I don't think anything else really changed. Okay. I think a few things changed. You guys can, uh, look back and, uh, compare it, but I, th I think some of these values did go up. Yeah. I think they went up. All right. Let's um, take a look at his uh, attributes now. So you can see his uh, hero rating at this level, uh, what his health looks like. And let's see here. All right. So his crit rating is now up to 16%. Damage rating is pretty decent. Uh, his armor rating has gone up to 8.8 uh, .8 negative and his block proficiency is at 60%. All right, so now we'll have a little gameplay and test this guy out. I have not tried him out yet, so let's do it. All right, so this video is already a little bit longer than I had planned for it to be. So we're gonna go into Realm of Legends, face Winter Soldier, and we won't be able to see the special three, but I will be able to show you the special one, the special two, uh, we'll be able to look at his heavy attack, the little power gain we get. See if we can get his uh, special to be unblockable. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to build up almost to a uh, special one. All right, let's uh, bait that out. Okay, so he got his special one, so it wasn't unblockable. Uh, but you notice he did get stunned. Um, it was a 50% chance. All right, but he is gaining power. All right, there we go. There we are. All right, so he was guaranteed stunned and it was unblockable. All right, so you got to see that. All right.
right, let's build up to a special two and see what that looks like. Yep, uh, Winter Soldier waited for me to attack before he would attack. Here we go. That's a special two. All right. Now, I'm just curious. It says that you cannot um, get your special three off until you have three of those uh, cosmic buffs. So I'm curious as to what'll happen. Uh, I suspect it'll just fire off a special uh, two instead. But I just wanna see it. Okay. Damage doesn't seem to be too big. Okay. There's a special two, but I'm not sure if I actually was at a special three. Let's try that again. And uh, keep going. Now, remember, this is a uh, rank three. Uh, we will take a look at him again at rank five. But I might do that in another video just to keep this one a little bit short. All right, yeah, see, he can't get to a special three. All right, you see that? No special three. Interesting, interesting. Because I know with some of the uh, guys we fight, you know, when they don't have a special three active, uh, it'll let them fill three bars of power, but they'll only fire off a special uh, two. So I was just curious. All right, let's... Um, <laughs> a little power game, but it doesn't really matter. Here we go. Got that unblockable again, and he's stunned. Okay, he's definitely uh, not suicide friendly. Uh, that's for sure. All right, let's uh, quit out of this, and we are going to uh, go into uncollected. And we'll do like three fights so that we can see his uh, special three. And then in another video, uh, I will take him all the way up to um, rank five. And we'll see what he looks like there. And I'll rank up the six star and uh, we'll do the same thing. All right. So let's just uh, go on in here. And... Okay, wrong one, because those would be way too easy. Uh, and it would be annoying. Let's go uncollected. Rather than that beginner. Okay. Now, let's uh, go over here. So he needs three fights under his belt. So let's go ahead and... Uh, get going oh i didn't look at the node wow it's the worst node that we could have chosen okay let's go with something else because that one was fisticuffs so can't uh have our cosmic control buff when you have fisticuffs wow all right, let's uh, try this again. Let's now, let's take a look. Shouldn't have any buffs here, so let's go to the left this time. Just the trials that uh, happen when you try to go through and you don't read the nodes. All right, let's go ahead and get this fight under our belt, okay. Yeah. Okay. All right, I mistimed that one, which is why it wasn't unblockable. Okay, let's just get done with you. Yeah, it's uh, a little tricky because he does have a little bit of a power gain anyway. So if you're trying to, you know, catch it right when he fills a bar of power, you don't want to do it with the heavy. 
So what we would likely do, and we'll, we'll try it in the next one. We will uh, just wait. As soon as we have a bar of power, fire off that special one immediately. And uh, that should work out a little bit better. All right, so that was fight number one. Okay, let's try this one here. What is that? Great. Okay, so let's keep going. All right. Come on. And I'll just watch as soon as I fill up that bar of power. Okay, no. Didn't really do much of anything. Okay, come on. But we do have the two uh, rods, uh, buffs rather, and this should have been three. Let's see here. Yep, we've got three. So at this point, we should be able to fire off that special three. All right, let's uh, build up a little bit. You don't want to kill him. Okay. Bait this out. While we're gaining power, as you guys can see. And a special three is active. That is an epic special three. All right, so that is how we're going to end the video. I will have other videos uh, showcasing him a little bit. We'll rank him up to uh, rank five. We'll also take the six star to rank three. So look forward to those videos. Uh, but for now, that's gonna do it, guys. Thank you all for watching. Uh, my take on him, first impressions, I'm a little underwhelmed. I love that special three animation, but I'm a little underwhelmed. Uh, that might be because I run suicides all the time. He's not suicide friendly uh, in the least. Uh, his damage didn't look like it was, you know, insane or anything to really write home about. Um, he doesn't seem like he's a bad champion, but uh, I can't see myself using him over some of my other champions. Uh, now that might change when they add new content. Uh, if you guys remember, Human Torch, most of us did not think Human Torch was that good when he first came out. Then they started releasing content, and we also had our boy Legacy uh, heralding uh, his virtues and everything, and uh, turns out he was pretty good. So there's still a lot to learn from this guy. I don't even know how to play his rotation, anything like that, but at least you guys got a chance to see him. Okay, but that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.